Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Sears first entered the garden tractor market in the 1940s with their highly popular two-wheel David Bradley walk-behind machines. By the 1960s, Sears was selling four-wheeled lawn and garden tractors badged as suburban models. The goal was to offer customers a dependable, low-cost machine they could use year-round. In the 60s and 70s, they were the, the most reliable small tractor you could find. If someone had a little bit of acreage, they could buy a small tractor like this, few implements, and go out and do the work that they actually needed to do. When I got this tractor, it actually still mowed grass. That's how good and how long they, they, that they will last. Tom Tucker's garden tractor isn't just a regular Suburban, it's actually a supermodel. Those came with a handful of optional upgrades like wider tires and a cigarette lighter. Pretty much everything on it is original. I have not touched anything. Uh, these lawnmowers, it's really weird from, you know, back in the 60s, nobody cared about cigarette smoking, so some of your lawnmowers came with a cigarette lighter. This tractor came with its original cigarette lighter and still has it today. Now you're not going to see that on any lawnmower now. I don't know exactly how many they sold in 68, but it had to be millions because there's, there is still quite a few out there. I've acquired it a couple years ago with amongst of a lot of other tractors. I have 12 different ones and it just was a very unique, it, of course it didn't look like it does now. It was, I don't think there was a drop of paint on it anywhere. It was quite the rust bucket. So painstakingly I tore it down, totally restore it in about, about a year and a half and to the beauty that she is today. The blue wasn't the factory color. It's as close to the factory as I could get. The blue for this particular tractor was just a little lighter shade. The SS-12, built by Roper to be sold by Sears, is powered by a 12-horse Tecumseh engine. The transmission offers six forward speeds and two reverse. It's very reliable. Once you get them running well, they run like a top. This motor is original, has never been touched. I did not rebuild it because it was running so well, and it has served me well for the last two years. When you put it in gear one, it will almost climb the wall. And it is just amazing how it will pull through the dirt, the hardest dirt, it will break it up. I use it every spring. I plow the gardens, I disc, I cultivate. In the winter time, I put the uh, blade on it and we push snow with it. When I'm done, I power wash it and bring it to the shows. We also use it out here on our plow days. I, Pound for pound, I plowed just as much this last year as all the big tractors with this one little tractor. No wheel weights, no other modifications. It's just a standard Sears 12. Advertisements from the time marketed these tractors as a shortcut to leisure. And Sears offered more than 30 attachments, including this one row plow that Tom bought along with his SS-12. The plow, I believe, is an a implement made by David Bradley. This one is a 10 inch. They made a 10, a seven, an eight, and a five. This is one of the largest ones. Uh, when I plowed with this, a lot of people said, you're gonna have to put wheel weights on it and what have you. This, this little tractor just pulled right through the dirt and did a wonderful job. No weights, no special implements or, or operations, but it did a very good job. I'm really, really happy with it. In addition to collecting, Tom likes building his own hot rod machines from spare parts to help get school kids interested in working with tools and restoring tractors. You know, when I start my hot rod and it rumbles and it's just loud and it shakes and everything, these kids' eyes just get bigger than saucers and they go, wow, we can build that. And that's the main focus. We just, we want to get the kids, you know, boy, girl, it doesn't matter. Let's get them in the garage. Get them, get them tinkering with something. Teach them how to use a screwdriver, a wrench, a hammer, a tape measure. We do it just so that we can get the next generation involved, get them engaged. Tom has a diverse collection and he doesn't focus on just one brand. He says it's actually the front grill that first catches his eye and gets him interested in a garden tractor. The front of these tractors, every old Sears has the most beautiful architectural features of the front of the tractor and I, and I love that and I compare them from each one to, the, to another. That's what gets me. I'm a Frank Lord Wright kind of a guy. I love the Art Deco and this is a perfect example of it. I have a couple old oddballs at home that nobody else like them. They're ugly from the nose back. But when you look at the nose and you see that 60s, 70s Art Deco style, that just churns the butter. It makes me just so happy. I live, breathe, eat, think, sleep. There's nothing that don't go on. I don't think about tractors too much. I've got the fever through and through. They say it's just like a Lay's potato chip. You can't eat one. You know, I started with one, then two, then three. Now I have 12. 
possibly a couple more before the show's over with. You never know what the day might come along. The hunt is still on. The oddball, the better. <laughs>